All right, I'm just going to give a quick demonstration of what I'll be talking about here to get this up and running. Um, I've got XBMC fired up. I've got my cell phone in my hand. Uh, I'll just give a quick demo here. XBMC, play a random movie. XBMC, stop. XPMC, play the next episode of Mad Men. See, as you can see, it's actually pretty responsive. There are a couple, couple screws here and there, but uh, it does work very well. XPMC, stop. All right, I hope the, hope that excites you. I'll go through the tor tutorial next. All right, what's up, everybody? Um, so I wanted to do a tutorial on how to get uh, Yahtzee, Cody, and Tasker to all work together. As you've probably seen in uh, in my demonstration there earlier on. It's actually pretty simple to set up. Uh, the first thing we need to do, obviously, is make sure that Cody is set up to work with Yahtzee. If you've done all this, you can probably skip ahead a couple of minutes. To do that, go into your system and then settings. And then we want to go into services. In services, we need to select a couple things here. We want to have with the web server, we want to make sure that allow control of Kodi via HTTP is enabled. Um, you can leave the port as is uh, for this demonstration. You can change the username and password for this demonstration. I'm just going to use Kodi and Kodi as the password. And then we want to go to remote control. We want to make sure that allow programs on this system to control Kodi and allow programs on other systems to control Kodi work or are selected. Then go to zero comp and make sure that announce these services to other systems by zero comp is enabled. After that, we can just exit out of this. The one thing I should mention is you want to make sure that you have uh, your IP info as well so to get that you just gotta go to system system info and you should be able to find it it's right here um, if you can it's probably best to set up a static IP or or at the very least just something that um, you know DHC DHC reserved is enabled because you don't want to be have to changing your your IP address and Yahtzee all the time to get this to continue to work. Uh, after that, we're done with Cody. So what we want to do now is move on to Yahtzee. And in Yahtzee, we want to we have to set up a couple things. We got to connect obviously to our Cody first and foremost. So um, whatever device you're using, it's got to be an Android or it's at least got to be able to open open Yahtzee. So let's go into there. Um, I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to delete this quickly. So when you open up, you'll probably be either come to a screen like this or it would be a wizard uh, to run you through this. So what we want to do is we want to add a host, and we want to click a plus button. And from here, we've got XBMC Cody add a running host. Uh, what it will do here usually is it will try and find it automatically. I, I really haven't had much success with it so I usually just skip it or it will come to an end here and I'll click next and this way I'll be able to enter in my my IP address. This is a different IP I'm doing this on my Mac but I have a Fire TV that has this all installed as well so this is the IP of Fire TV. So we'll click add host and it will try and test that, but we didn't enter in the username and password, so we just got to enter in the username and password. Click Add Host, and we should get green. And it says congratulations. So we can click Finish. You'll see now that we've got a media player right here. So I usually just highlight it once and hit the check mark. 
what it'll do is it'll sync. It's going to sync my local library, as you can see right now. It's got my movies and TV shows and stuff like that. What you want to do probably is test this out and just maybe play around with the up and down arrows just to make sure that it's working on your screen. If you want, uh, if you've got if you've got the unlocked version of Yahtzee already, you can test the test the voice recognition by clicking this little microphone here. Um, the voice recognition is fairly limited to some of the commands you can say, but you can say just to test it, just say something like play play a random movie, and it will it should fire up a random movie from your library. Uh, once this is done, though. Uh, you should be good with Yahtzee and, and we just move on to the harder part which is Tasker. So with Tasker as mentioned you need you obviously need auto voice installed and you're gonna need to purchase that I think it's only a like a buck sixty seven Tasker is about four dollars and then the Yahtzee unlocker I think is about eight or nine so you're not looking you're looking at under twenty bucks for for all this kind of unique automation uh, to get get going with this we need to open Tasker. If you've never used Tasker it can be a little overwhelming at first but there's a lot of really good YouTube tutorials uh, that go through the basics and whatnot but basically all we do is we need to create a profile that will handle handle our tasks I guess you could say. Uh, I'm not going to go into great depth of, of what we need to do or how to make you understand it. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Um, so to get started, we just need to add a profile, and to do that, we just plus. We want to make it an event, and we want to use the plugin Auto Voice. So from here, we want to make sure it recognizes what we're, what we're saying. So we choose recognized, and you'll be coming to this screen uh, where we can simply just hit configuration. So you'll be given these options here. Um, I don't have this is I'm doing this on on a Mac, so I don't have a speak filter. But you can enter it enter this in one of two ways. What we want to do is kind of have a trigger that is telling us uh, to send this to Yahtzee. So I I usually just use XBMC as my trigger, and that will handle you know playing the voice recognition and stuff. Uh, to do that, so you can either click sp speak filter and say XBMC, or you can just simply just hit command filter and type it in. From there, you just click this check mark. And the weird thing about Tasker is it took me a while to figure this out, but this up here is actually kind of like the save button. It looks like a back button, but it is actually saving it, so we just click that and we're brought back to here. So you should see this and then a little pop-up will come up asking for a new task. So we just simply hit new task. Um, I'm just going to call this XBMC send. And then we just need to add a couple tasks to this. Uh, I've, I'm not an expert at all this by any means, but I had a couple problems with my Fire TV that I think it goes into kind of a sleep mode, which turns the, the Ethernet port off, kind of like a wake on LAN situation. So uh, what I did, I added an extra step. You don't need this. Uh, you can test this out for yourself. But what I did is I just, it was kind of a nice thing to have too, but I, I added app and then I clicked launch app and I chose Yahtzee. So basically what that would do is simply just, when, when I say XBMC, play the next movie, it will automatically launch Yahtzee and send the voice command. That way I have Yahtzee open on my phone and whatnot. Um, but to do that, just follow that. It's really simple. We just click back. Now the toughest part about getting the voice command to recognize is this next step. We want to uh, want to add another task. And this time we're going to choose system. And it's called send intent. So there's going to be a little more information here that we got to put in. Um, we want to use the Yahtzee API to send our send our intent. We want to send our spoken command through that. So to do that, we have to enter in a couple things on this screen. So in the action, we want to do org or org dot leap zone dot android. 
dot Yahtzee widget dot we want to do this in caps now action oops do action underscore app underscore voice command underscore parser in category I just left it as none and then we just need to add one more thing into extra here and that's going to be kind of the same so org dot Elite zone dot android dot yahtzee widget dot we're back in caps again extra underscore string underscore params then we want to do semicolon percent and av com no filter. And that should basically be it. We'll do one more thing. The target we want, we want to change this to service. And that should be all you need to do. So we'll just back out, click the save slash what it looks like the back button. And you should be back to your main screen and you should have a profile set up now that will handle your tasker commands that will trigger your Yahtzee and control your media player. The one thing to keep in mind with all this is the Yahtzee commands are fairly limited. Um, there's not a huge library of stuff, but it does do simple stuff like if you say XBMC play whatever movie, um, it will play, start firing up the movie. The TV shows are a little bit different, but what you have to do, I'll put the link in below, um, is, is just browse the Yahtzee API information and documentation and see what you can do and, and whatnot. But that should pretty much be it. If you have any problems, just uh, leave a comment below and I'll see what I can do to figure it out.